Hey everyone, welcome to another Gadget Talk. We are so excited that you are here with us tonight. And I mean, we're going to throw a little sound out there for you and we're going to have a lot of fun because there's, I think there's a lot of things that you can add to a cache, but sound adding to a cache just kind of will add, adds it at extra, extra level. So, but we yeah, absolutely. To, yeah. So we're so excited here to have you with us and we're going to show you a really simple way to do that, that can't wait to do that. But before we do that, of course, we got to take care of our sponsors so let's go ahead and take care of that if you would like to become a patron click on the become a patron link on the front page of the geocache talk website or head over to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk for more details patrons get the now famous blackout coins and other geocaching items during the year support levels start as low as the bison tube level which is only three dollars a month logwork the creators of the fantastic logbook made with genuine right in the rain paper the logbook's designed for the micro containers of the present and future, geared towards the hider who'd rather go caching than doing cash maintenance. Find them at logwork.com. That's L O G W E R K.com. All right. And we talked about the blackout coin in there. And of course, that's not the correct website. I got to go back and change that. But uh, Gary wanted us to mention that these coins here, we. What we have left is what we have left. We are not going to be ordering them anymore except for the black one right here. But all the other ones that are on here will not be ordered again. So if you want to get that, those coins, well, guess what you need to do? You need to go to Chromia Prints, and you can find that on the geocachetalk.com, and just click on store, and you can go in there. You can get your coins. Uh, so that's what you need to do there if you want those coins. So... Um, but once they're gone, they are gone. So, but we really wanted to make that really quick announcement there as well. So, but so we can go ahead and get into <laughs> what we're going to be talking about tonight. Yeah. We only did a run of a hundred of those coins. So once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. Yeah. So make sure you get in, get your coin, collect them all. Except for the patron one, the blackout. We'll the blackout coin will going. be continue to be that for new patrons. And like I said, it, it's only three bucks a month and you get so much extra stuff. And you get discounts at Chromio Print, all that, all that stuff. So, go check it out. Yep. Okay. Nice. Um, whew, sound adding sound to uh, caches. Uh, it does <laughs> increase to me, right? When I find a cache and it makes sound, it does increase the experience of the cache of finding the cache. And yeah. I, was, I was actually just thinking, darn it, I should have brought my uh, crack the code one, my Mission Impossible type cache out. Uh, uh, because yeah. it actually has one of these sound modules. But uh, anyway, um, what we will use on this one or talk about, so we're not going to talk about making anything with the Arduino this week. Um, we will be covering that soon, but not right. this week. We're going to stay really, really basic and right. go with some store-bought uh, sound, uh, little sound modules made for kids type thing, or the little sound modules that you buy uh on ebay or uh amazon right and we do have a link for this and i'm actually going to go ahead i think this is the right one nope oh, that's our thing the first link that i was sending you earlier chad oh, yeah, um, yeah. i'll pull the link up actually yeah i'll get the link up here shortly but if you go to um our build page tonight which is in our um uh, well i'm having a hard time tonight trying to find, <laughs> hey, find this no stuff problem. tonight there it is. All right. So our parts list, you can go to geocachetalk.com forward slash adding dash sound. And that'll actually take you right to the, the show notes tonight. And there's a link on there for the easy sound module, which we'll be talking about tonight. And in fact, I'm going to grab that link here shortly while Chad talks about it. And I'll drop that into the chat for you, yeah. everybody, right now. And is it a new website, actually, that's up? Uh, yeah, it's our new website yeah. that you go to. It's so everybody you should check go it check out. that out. Yeah, right. It's absolutely. a lot cleaner. Um, a lot. It was, it it was something that needed to be done. It needed to be updated. Yeah. And that's something I think you've been doing, right? You do a lot, a lot of that stuff. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, yeah, Dave, I do. I've I I do need <laughs> a nap. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've been editing all day on different stuff. Um, 
for different clients and my own stuff. So yeah, it's been, it's been rough. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why I'm sitting down tonight and not standing. <laughs> so. I was just thinking about that tonight. I'm like, I have a sit stand table over here. I haven't put together. I'm like, I need to do it. Cause I get tired of standing. Yeah. So I, I, uh, I so. Okay. So we'll get into it. So what we will talk about here, first of all, are these really inexpensive, but fun, uh, easy sound modules here. Um, these are, I think, $14.99 or something like that, maybe even cheaper uh, on I'm Amazon. $15.49. $15 so. $15 uh, <laughs> I know you can go to eBay and get them. And then you can also go to, to some of those uh, other sites that you like to, if you go to them, the, the, the Chinese stores uh, that will have them as well. And they'll be even cheaper, but it will take several months to get them possibly. Right. Uh, when you get them that way. So uh, anyways, check out your favorite uh, electronics site if you want to. Um, AliExpress or, or anything like that. So um, the uh, so what, when is this? so this is the easy sound one. This puts out one sound on this one. So you push a button here. And, and it is the standard sound that came with it. I don't know what it's saying. Um, <laughs> it's Asian. It's... I don't speak that language, uh, but in order to change the sound on it, you have a wire here with a button that's red and a wire here. That's the button to play. Um, yep. If you hit this button here and you speak into it, test. Sorry. There's a microphone on this side. I better speak on that side. Test, test, test. Speak into it. It'll play back what you want it to say. And then that's it. Uh, I believe this does 30 seconds of sound is that the one uh, that we have on the the that we're this is the one to? we have the link on yes 120 20 seconds oh wow they're getting even longer yeah they're two minutes yeah they're almost like the the card uh like the uh greeting card uh right. you know sound modules that you open up right um, but some of these are even better because they'll do a button uh some will activate with light um you can add a read switch to it so oh wow which we can we can talk about here. So there's lots of different things you can do to actually activate the sound on this. But. And I think it would be really funny because I mean you could have the sound on there and they're running a read switch and it, it lights up a light, but it also says wrong or whatever. <laughs> that'd be say. cool. <laughs> Just kind hey, of, that's kind of freak somebody out. I mean, there's an that's idea. your next build for behind the cash. Uh, well, we're gonna get into that because aren't we gonna be maybe yeah, dropping a challenge later? <laughs> So we'll see. Oh, yes, maybe. So we'll see. So if you, on here, uh, on this sound module, that's what I said there. Yep. And it works. So 120 seconds, you can do whatever you want on there. You can do a big description on how to find the cache. You can do a description, maybe a puzzle, uh, anything like that. That would be really cool because then, I mean, you're really not having to program. So you basically get a, a smart cache without the smart part. Yes. <laughs> and you can upgrade the 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 speaker to it to a better quality speaker, right? Uh, which I have done in the past. And I also, if you add it uh, to something here to make a hollow, let me let me see here. All right, this is, this is just going to be a, an experiment here, real quick. Right, and uh, try cash this is saying it shows how you can add audio uh, into with an eighth inch audio jack. Yes. So you can increase the sound by using a pipe or something or the loudness of it. This the but anyways, or do a better speaker. That's what I'd recommend. Yeah. Uh anyway, I did a few where if you sealed the back of it and you put it through uh I think like almost like a magnif megaphone, uh right. it actually worked. It increased the sound. You could hear it better. But so That's this cool. is the 120 second one button that we have the link for. Right. Um and then we have another option here, which this is more of an MP3 style here. Okay. Um, it takes, this one here takes three. Uh, I don't know what, model, what models they are, but they're like a 1.5 or a three. They're button cell batteries uh, in there. And those things will last years, right? Because right. it's only activating, only using power when you're pushing the button. Right. So here's uh, 
um, engineer 42 asked, does adding a better speaker overcome a very low sample rate? I have no idea. <laughs> that's a good question. That's, that's a great uh, question. <laughs> I have my, my, uh, uh, crack the code one, which I can get it down and show you it. I added a better speaker to that and it hasn't changed. It didn't change anything on it. Okay. Um, but that's a good question. I mean, if it's anything like regular audio stuff, it, garbage in gets garbage out. I mean, it, if it depends on your microphone and because the diaphragm on the microphone and we can get very technical on this, but it's, it would, I mean, if you're using a really bad microphone, it's not narrowly, your audio is not going to sound really good. So it gets, I mean, you're look. Look at the thing. It's 15 bucks for a little microphone that's probably the size of a, a pen, which I know they make really good microphones, but not for $15. Yeah, and it says on the back the ohms on it too, which I don't know if that will make a big difference, and the watts it should take. But, um, you know, you can get, like the Arduino ones, you can get a amplifier for it. Okay. But uh, I have not had any issues with what I've did. You don't need to do a giant speaker. Right. Um, at least I don't think you do. <laughs> uh okay so that's this one this one here has four double a's right so it's gonna okay. last a lot longer mp3 uh file uh this plays a lot longer and has a a better sound i think it, this has well i'll put it over here this is a, a song that came with it so anyways i don't know if you can hear that or not but it will play for a long time um this is a nice one uh, just because you have the more battery life in it, but it right. takes up more room and it's a little bit more expensive. So if it disappears, that's going to be a little bit harder to swallow. Right. On the, on the price. And you'll send me a link for that one that we can get Chad. Yeah. I, I can send you a link for that one too. Right, I didn't we'll... see it. I actually looked for it and they didn't have it on the Amazon. So, but okay. I will see if I can find it on the other sites. Okay. So we'll find that link. And we'll get that onto the website as well um, so that we can have that on there. Yes. Uh, and then there's the third one here that I have. Um, this is one you've seen in the past. Uh, this actually has four buttons. So you oh, have wow. four different sounds it can play. Uh, it uses three AAA batteries on it. And you can download the sound either by a... Uh, uh, Audio jack. Uh, An eighth inch audio jack? Yeah, eighth inch audio jack uh, or USB. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so you can you can download it either way. So it gets you a better sound quality. On this one, I think I just spoke into a phone and downloaded it through the audio jack. So okay. it doesn't sound good. But this is one we did when we were talking about making uh, a cache that talked to you on, on numbers. So each button, each one says something different. I guess I should go over here. So if you push it. Oops. 16 minus nine. So sounds really bad because of the way I recorded it. Right. Uh, but each button says something different. Nine. And this was giving you a different way to find a code, right? So I think on this one we were doing, my plan was to read switches. Okay. And you run a magnet on something and then it will activate. Um, but so you know, we've met, so you've mentioned read switches a couple of times. How would you do that with a read switch? Would you the, instead of the button, you'd put the re-switch in, in there so it would connect Correct. that circuit. Yeah, so we would cut the wire here. Um, this is your button, right? Uh, right? We'd end up cutting this here and just adding your read switch to it. Um, you're normally you're normally open read switch, and then when you hit it with the magnet, you would close it. Right. Uh, okay. On there, you you can also cut it and put in waterproof buttons as well, uh, which you know we've used in the past as on build so if you want to have the button exposed uh, <laughs> you can do that so pizza ninja is wondering is there one that will self-destruct mission impossible style depends <laughs> on your power and how you wire it i mean yeah i'm sure you could <laughs> so i'll have to get that one out uh my mission impossible one here i'll let you do a little bit of talking here in a little bit and i'll get it out and throw some batteries in it and show it but I, I, if you've seen me at events especially recently right i've had that one at events and you can uh you probably have seen it right so i mean okay. i these these just adding a simple sound effect to your cache is really great i mean uh, djw house does this all the time with his from the sound effects that he when you turn open it on it has the 
the whining multiple sounds going on. And then when you solve it, it's got like a song or something. Um, I, we did one in at Mingo Madness that was a phenomenal cache where you, it was all push buttons and each button said something different and you had to put them in order. And of course it changes. So I solved it with whatever numbers it was, but the next person has got to solve it with other numbers. So there's a lot of different ways to add sound that just, like I said, just will raise that level of that gadget cache of that smart cache of your cache that you're putting out there, just go up another level. Um, so that's just think that's really cool. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. And Dave Wagner or DJW house, sorry. Right. Uh, the way he adds it though is completely different, right? He's running, and I don't think he's he's not been using Arduino uh, to do it. So he's actually he is using MP3 files, right? Uh, but we'll have to go over that with him. But it's way more complicated than that. Uh, but I will promise in the next few months we will cover uh, doing a basic Arduino MP3 file audio upload system. So we're just trying to cover the basics right now on some caches that you can get out there, and then. Good. Yeah, Pizza Ninja still he's really pushing for the self destruction one. So the one I made originally for this is uh, I don't have it. It's in the other room. Is a small smoke generator, twelve volt smoke generator. Oh wow! And so I wanted it to smoke, right? Uh, but it's in a box, and if you move it, the smoke fluid falls out, comes out, right? It's not sealed <laughs> right. and stuff. And then the amount that it uses each time I'd have to open it up and fill it up or something. It just didn't end up working out, but it was a cool idea. That is cool. I'll, I'll mean, have to try and put it together and see if I can get it working better. I mean, I've told you about my idea of one that I want to do. Um, of course, okay. So this is my idea. If you guys end up doing this, you have to give me credit for it. But, um, um, I want to call it deer in the headlights. I, I can't find a place to put this, um, but this would be a great module to do it. If you, especially if you have a really good loudspeaker, but it's called deer in headlights. And what you do, you have to have a black light to find it. So it'd be great to have, this is going to have to be a night cache. So you, when you find it with a black light, you see this deer and to get in the, inside of it is you, there's numbers hidden that you see with the UV light. Well, when you open it up there, I want, like lights that are up in the trees that just all of a sudden just shoot at the, the cash finder, the, the after cash hider finder, sorry. And the a voice says, what you doing? And there's a motion camera inside that takes a picture at the same time. So you're thinking that you're finding the deer in headlights when you, when you see the outside, but actually you're the deer in headlights when those, those strobes come on and get you that, that way. Huh. So, I think one of these that that sound module would add so much to that, even just cause that problem. But, but like I said, if you guys make this, I you gotta give me credit for it because I can't find a place to put one out here. I don't have enough land. So, um, but I think it'd be one of those funny caches. I would love to see the reactions of everybody when they find it, and especially with that picture in there. So that would be actually fairly simple to do with like a peekaboo, right? Okay, system. Uh, which is an escape room system okay. uh, because it would actually, when you activated the, when the light activated the sensor, it would actually automatically start tripping sounds and lights. <laughs> it's actually very simple to do. Um, I've not pulled that out yet. One of those systems, right? Uh, because it's actually what they do use in escape rooms. Okay. Escape room game. So, but uh, anyways, yeah, uh, uh, they're, they're fun. Then just asking what kind of attribute would, uh, would a cash like that have? Would uh, you could, <laughs> you could pee your pants from being startled. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I don't know which one that would be. Uh, and then uh, of course, Ryan That'd says, be great for like Gilby. Great Gilby. it would be, I think I might've actually mentioned it to Chad um, or somewhere, but I, he's got all that land out there. That would be a great place to put it. Um, so, I mean, Kansas, there's land everywhere. There might be a place in Kansas to put it too. So, if uh, Adi is listening, hey, there's an idea for you too. Yes. Um. So, but I'd love to. I would. I would love to see that. I think it would just be a great night cash. Yeah. Yeah. His Adi's. You know, I don't. We haven't talked about it. We haven't been on since. No, we haven't. Mingo and his caches. I mean, oh, there were so those things fun. were awesome. They were so fun. Uh, it was great meeting him. I've never met him before. Um. So <laughs> I I had a blast. I unfortunately didn't get to find 
all of the caches. In fact, the one right next to Mingo, right? That I think Dave Wagner originally had out there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get. I didn't find it. So we were so busy with everything and going around and schedules. It was after we left. I was like, "Darn it! I should have went and got that." Right. I have actually. I'd have a little bit of video of that one um, that I took on my phone. I got. I'm sitting here trying to find it real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope Body got some sleep afterwards too. I know that he was bu- he was busy going around. I don't think he had too much issues with caches, but yeah, that is a classic. DJW house cash. So this is just a real simple. You must press I don't know if I'd say it's simple. <laughs> no, it wasn't simple, but I'm just saying it was just a good way to to add. Right, that, good way to add mu- uh, audio that experience to experience and audio and just that it it places that cash over the top. It does because it has all that stuff. So that and, and, and it's a smart Alec too. I remember yeah. going through it and you will get hit the numbers to figure out which way it goes. How, how you got to hit all of them to figure out your order. And it goes, Oh, I've been told about you. You're one of the ones that just start pushing numbers randomly. Aren't you? And, and it was just, it kept doing different things like that. And it was just, it was funny. That's um, Dave, Dave Wagner's uh sense of humor in his cash as they, uh, they like to uh, make fun of you, poke fun at people. Oh, yeah. So, which oh, yeah. is awesome. I love it. Yeah, I do, too. So. I mean, in fact, when we solved it, and uh, Gary was with us when we solved it, and I said, oh, you did it in seven minutes and 30 seconds. Hey, that's not too bad. But I wouldn't quit your day job. So, I mean, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it was just a lot of fun. Well, yeah, and on the Superhero Jeopardy one that we have here, Right. Um, that one, when you get something wrong, it's like, how did you even get on the show? It says. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. Right. So Chad, uh, Ryan's asking, did you play the version at the gadget caches there at Mingo? Cause there yes. was a smaller version there. So that's the same thing as that one. Yes. Yes, I did. And I played that one in Texas as well. Okay. Cause it was at the Texas challenge. Right. So. So, but like like we said, just a really simple way of being able to add sound to it is just with that easy sound module. Um, real easy. You get 120 seconds. So, and just would love to see what kind of ideas you come up with that. Um, so, I guess we'll go ahead and tell say now, your challenge for the month of, let's see, we're in May. Mar, uh, Mar, yeah, May. Oh, I am tired. Sorry, Dave. Uh, but yeah, uh, for next month, June, the month of June, is to create a gadget smart smart cache with using a sound module and we would love to see what you come up with um you can use the the easy module that we have here where you don't really have to do um a lot of programming or anything or you can go ahead and try with an mp3 and we're going to get those other links on the website here later once we get those and like i said before you can just go to our geocachetalk.com forward slash adding dash sound. And that'll take you right to where those links are. And the Amazon links are affiliate links. So anything that you click on that does help the channel. And we really do appreciate that. Um, it really helps us out here. So, all right, Chad, I saw you running back to the back. What do you have now? Oh, no, I, I have one that actually had the, I was going to show the photo cell on it. Okay. But, my shop is such a mess. <laughs> You've been working too much. What did I do with it? That's kind of funny anyway. You can right. get them that way. It's weird. All right. Just looking at it anyway. All right. So Bot Matrix says with the basic sound module, you can hack it and make it smart by triggering the button with a transistor circuit and microcontroller. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, whatever you want to do to make that happen, that would be, be great. That's, and if you want to come on and teach us how to teach everybody how to do it, send us an email at gadget talk podcast at gmail.com. And That's we'd right. love to have you on and you can show everybody how to make that. That'd be great. Right. So there's the, so send us an email at gadget talk podcast at gmail.com. And I mean, Hey, I mean, we much would rather talk to you and you share your ideas and us trying to always come up with the ideas itself. And this show is really about you and, and how we can spread 
knowledge and how we can make this game that we all love a lot more fun. So huh. pizza ninja. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> what is, okay. I have a lot of thoughts up here, but nothing, not everything works out. I have a <laughs> lot of useless knowledge. He may have the parts. <laughs> <And trying. laughs> so oh, yeah, I'll says, think about something. I'm like, oh, what parts can I get? And I'll right. Amazon it and then they'll sit. Right. So for our audio listeners, Pizza Ninja says, I feel like we could throw out any idea and Bounce Bounce already has something in his in the works in his shop. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, so talking about uh, one other thing here and let's see if I can change the batteries died on this. Um, but this is one that I upgraded the sound and this was actually originally for, um, a cache that, uh, the geocaching vlogger has or owns. Oh, uh, the light ones that he's got in the, uh, yeah. Uh, cause originally that was going to be based on a Star Trek. Okay. Panel. And then it switched several times because <laughs> my thought process th switches all the time. Uh, yeah, I know. I I understand that very, very well. So uh, let me just switch these batteries out with some new ones from this other module. Give me a second here. Okay. Um, did you have that link you need to share? Did you already share that link? Yeah, I shared the link. Um, and, and I can actually, let me see if I can drop it in again. This is for the sound module. Uh, that the link is in the chat once once again. So that's a that's the Amazon link for the Easy Sound module, and that one will record for 120 seconds. It says high quality sound, but I mean, mm. I think that's relative. Um, and the price for that is 15.49. So right, yeah. So um, yeah. Either way, uh, I don't know about the high quality sound. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking of a topsy turvy gravity lock. That screams when you turn it upside down. That is yeah, hilarious. Cool. Yeah, and and I think you're referring to maybe the gravity lock one that I kind of built. Oh, that is Star Trek. Um, <laughs> that's that iconic sound uh, that yes. they did on there. Yeah, that's really cool. So what I change this to is a speaker. So this is an intercom speaker. So when you go to a building, and you have you need security. You push the button, it goes to security. So it's a it's a really nice. Um, these are like uh, this speaker. This whole intercom system is like two hundred fifty bucks, but it's a nice speaker. Uh, it, it, and yeah, so I just added it, nice. the sound module <laughs> to the back of it, wired it to it, and it actually sounds really good. So you push the button, and it has the the sound on it. But Ouch! That's a little loud. Is that loud? Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, much uh, better quality speaker on that one. Yeah. <laughs> So this was supposed to go to that one and then have all the lights flashing and everything. Okay. But anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, that's some basic easy sound modules that you can buy. Now we have another way to go here as well that's even easier to get sound in. And okay. actually, I stole this idea from Mingo, from from Dusty, from Audio Ol Olson. Okay. So, uh, it, he had such a good idea. I could not find the animal sound ones. Okay. Um, and these ones actually I found uh, at, for a dollar at Goodwill. So okay. they are these learning resources buttons. And they have different sounds. Is, do I have blue, green screen on? You do. Why do I have <laughs> green screen on? I don't know. Hold, hold them down to your other camera and I'll, I'll pull that one up. Okay. There, there we you go. go. Yeah, <laughs> green screen. Stuff. I don't know why I have green screen on, and I don't know <laughs> if I know how to get rid of it. But anyway, uh, so you can get these that have animal sounds, which is what Dusty did, and it was such a cool cache. Um, and then unfortunately, someone ripped the buttons off, so he ended up having to change it. So, but you know, at Goodwill, you know, you couldn't beat the price of them. Um, I'd love going to Goodwill and finding random things. <laughs> Uh, there, so <laughs> so Tom goes two hundred fifty to a dollar gadget caches for every budget. <laughs> that, that's right. Well, okay, that system's like two hundred fifty bucks. I didn't get it for two hundred bucks. I got it for free because we tore it out of a building. <laughs> I would never pay that kind of money first. Right, 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 right. But we tore it out of a building. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, 
Yeah, in fact, Ryan just said uh, it was so sad when somebody destroyed the barn one, and that's the one that we're talking about. Yeah, and it, it was it's it was still good. It was a great cash. Yeah, uh, but the barn one is is awesome. So what I went ahead and did, and I actually was looking for the photo. I thought I took a photo of that barn one so we could share it. Uh, Hold on, on I'm the gonna podcast. See if I do it. If I'm gonna see if I and have it. So he what he had was a list of animals. So right. cow, dog, sheep, you know, 10 different animals. And you could decode each animal had a number next to it. One through, I guess it was nine animals, one through nine. Um, it might have been 10, zero through nine. I don't remember. Um, but uh, you had to push the buttons, and then that animal that sound that you heard what would equal the the code or that number for the lock. Right. So it was really, really cool. So I took his idea, stole it from him. Absolutely. I won't be afraid to admit it. Um, and uh, let me see if I just happened to have it because I swore I took a picture. Yeah, Gary, send it, uh, text it to me and I'll put it up here. Oh, does Gary's he have it? A, yeah, he's got a picture of it. And yeah, I know I, I did see I and not. Ryan was saying that there's a, a the vlog one of the vloggers did. And I did see that. And I'm trying to remember who who did that one this last weekend. I did see that cash out there. So when we were out there walking around, because we all did that one. So, but yeah, Gary's going to send it to me and I'll get that picture in really quickly here in just a moment so we can share that. Okay, perfect. Um, so uh, what I did was I took these modules and these make beeping, dong, different noises. Um, <laughs> I won't be close to the mic this time when you push on it, right? It makes different noises. So you can take these and actually... Do like a birdhouse or anything you want, and you can mount them to it. Um, these just take a, a looks like a double A battery, uh, right? And do two double A bat, two triple A batteries. Uh, they had batteries on the bottom, so I didn't have to replace them. Uh, so, anyways, I took those and then I added just a different aspect of the game uh, to this. So, if we go to the build cam here, all right. Um, here, I'm going to take me out. There you go. Can we, can you see that? Okay. Or is that really, really? No, I can see that good. Blurry. It's not blurry. Okay. No, not really. Uh, you would have the four buttons and you'd push the noise and you'd have a, a button here that would equal that noise and it's hard to see with that light on. So they're backlit. Um, so you'd have a button and you have to find the buttons that have that noise and push those buttons only and the door would open. So what we have here is uh, a button here that says Boeing, okay. uh, which is the blue one, right? So right. we had these on the cache somewhere. And sorry, I didn't have time make, to make a better example. Uh, so we have a Boeing, right? So where is it down here? It's right here, right? Here's Boeing. So we'd have to push that one. And then what's the next one? Looks like a honk honk. So we have a Hong Kong here and a Hong Kong okay. there. No. And, <laughs> and uh, everywhere. Yeah. And, and Dave then, Zari says E I E I O. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and then we have a green button here that is ding. Right? So right. we have a D we have a ding here. And then the orange one. Okay. There we go. Ding dong. Ding dong. Which is here. So if we take all those and we find the buttons and they may be doubled. Right. Uh, you when you Kong push Kong them ding all. ding dong. Yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you push the buttons at one time. This is my battery dead? Is it? Oh, there we go. Hang on. All right, and then there there's... we go. So the this battery opens. was not very charged. Uh, okay. So if you push all the the four buttons at one time. Anyways, it opens like you guys said, but my battery is not charged this way. Not all the lights are lighting up. Okay. Uh, right. But anyways, then you get the cash. So I just have my battery in there because this is an example type thing. So a fun way to make a cash that is not is not too expensive, but it is more interactive. Right. Um, but the way Audi did it is really low maintenance, not a lot of work. Um, he had a padlock on there, a good padlock, a quality one. Right. Uh, with the pictures of all the animals and numbers, and then 
uh, these buttons here. And that really was a lot of fun. And that he had so many favorites on that cache, which he should. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was big. It was a big it like, was a barn. Big, thing. It was a barn. I mean, it was a big yeah. barn. There yeah. at the big barn. So <laughs> is that where it is actually? Is that yeah, the, it was at the big barn? The big barn was right behind barn us. Largest barn in Kansas? Kansas. Yeah. So, and Pizza Ninja says that's very cool. Um, um, post Halloween, uh, Ryan, someone was saying post Halloween is a great time to get the sound buttons. Very true. Cause there's going to be sound buttons for a lot of stuff at that point. Um, right after Halloween. Um, I'm trying to think of another place that you might be able to find them just about any time. If you can maybe have like a big lots in your area, that might be another place to be able to find these, uh, these things, um, as well. Um, I'm, Sorry, I'm reading the video. I'm, I'm reading the comments too, here. and I'm trying to figure out what Dave's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Five thirty. <laughs> five thirty, and then there's a five O X rather. I don't know. I think I'm, he changed I'm, it to five thirty. Anyways, okay, I'm lost. Okay, um, right. Well, it opens I, up during feeding times on a farm, five o'clock, and it times out. Oh, that would that'd be a fun cast. That would be find at a certain time. <laughs> And yeah. you have to be there. You'd have a line of people. Yeah. And I've heard some that have done that where it takes, you have to visit the cache three different times because it has to be to get the entire code it has to be like four hours apart from each time. And it, it looks up to a radio somehow. And it does that. Um, so uh, Chad, uh, uh, try caches says it's fun seeing other caches and sharing ideas. And that was something that I really liked. At Mingo Madness, is that there was a lot of gadgets there, a lot of gadget builders, and we all did got a chance to talk and just uh, kind of share ideas and do that aspect of it. Plus, beat and have the gadget panel, which was a lot of fun, fun as well. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So Dave sent us something. It looks like sent a YouTube link. So I'm looking for it. We'll, okay. Why don't you look for it? So yeah, I'll let you talk uh, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So anyway, um, next most challenge is making a uh, a gadget or a cache birdhouse ammo can anything like that uh, with uh, a sound module any kind of sound module you want to do. Uh, if you make it and you want to come on the show and share it, we'd love to have you come share it. Um, send some pictures of how you made it. Uh, we can download them uh, or upload them, I guess, uh, to the podcast site. And then we will send you a link and you can come on just like we did last month and kind of share a little bit of, of your creation that you made. Cause I would love to see what people come up with. Yes. On that. And so, um, okay. I got the link, but just give me a second. I'm actually going to pull it down no, so we can no, upload it a little better. Um, and then, uh, we will go, like I said, in a couple months, I'll, I'll do something on Arduino based. Uh, you know, I want to stick simple for anybody so anybody can build it, but Arduino based. Now I do want to mention that uh, we showed, what was it a month ago? Maybe a little more a month ago, uh, the Dave Wagner's uh, ammo can that yes. uh, we are selling through the podcast. Um, we have sold a crazy amount of those. I cannot believe how popular it was. Um, so if you haven't gotten one and you're thinking about it, order it soon, because I think I only have five more kits left, uh, for a little bit. So, uh, and then we have a, a few more boards coming in here soon. So, but That's anyways, great. order it soon. And then, uh, you know, we, I say, I say we, it's not me, it's Dave. Yep. Uh, we're just listing them and showing them for him. He has a couple other types coming out as well it won't be a, a like simon says type there'll be a several there'll be two other ones that i've seen some demos for that i think will be amazing so right um, yeah take a look at those okay i'm trying to pull this down real quick there's i got another one did gary send a video too? gary sent me one of one of it okay. too so um i can share the screen let me do the share screen go for on it. this go for it if i can find the share screen on this one <laughs> I have a camera in, in, in the way. Okay. Um, so here is, and I don't have the audio with it coming in, but that's the the front of it. Yeah. I'll scrub back a little bit. So there's the actually inside of this cache. 
And of course, there, that's Memphis there going through it. And I'm, I'm trying to see if they show the bottom of it too. But this red thing down here is actually where those cows are, and there it goes off. So, but yeah, so that's that was that's the barn cache, and the back of it actually originally had where the buttons were. Um, so that's what we're looking at there. So, the, but, the, yeah, the back of it, yeah, had the buttons. Right. I think. Did you flip up a panel or something, and the buttons were underneath it? I think. Yes. Yes, you did. You flipped up a panel on the back, and then there you could see where the buttons used to be. Um, on there, but those were, of course, like we said, were gone. So, and I'm trying to, there's another video that I'm looking at. Um, so that, the NBA Charles engineer. did that has it in there and I'm trying, so I'm scrubbing through it to see where it's at on here too. So, but all right. So you got one there while I look through this one. Yeah. So engineer 42, uh, asked a question once that contest, that sound contest and, uh, we want to do it on uh, a month from now, right? Right. So it'll be the last um, last week of June. Thursday last in Tuesday. June. Sorry, not Tuesday. Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah. Last Tuesday in June. So um, you don't have to show this, Derek. I'm just going to throw some batteries in it to show a, an example of that sound module. So um, no one wants to see me put batteries in a cache or a box. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, this one was at Mingo, and then of course when I fly, I have to take, I run eighteen six fifties in them, and I have to take the batteries out. So, um. so yeah, that's a that's a really fun one. I really like that one. Of course, when you're like you said, when you're flying, it kind of looks a little um, suspicious. Just show it to the gate agent; they won't care. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the black and yellow usually freaks them out. <laughs> and it says just write, arm. Just write on it, not a bomb. And see yeah, that. yeah, that, that, that won't work. No, don't do that. We don't <laughs> we don't want to see anybody get in trouble. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just reading the, the uh so Gary is saying, you know how the internet kicks your butt sometimes? That's me tonight on kick on the kick kick kicked in. Yeah. Yeah, we're all kind of scattered. I mean, I'm still trying to recover somewhat from Mingo because it was just it was crazy weekend, um, the driving and everything. But of course, I, Ryan, I hope you're kind of a little bit more recovered and kind of getting ready for your next next mega um, coming up here pretty soon. So, all Sorry, right, I had to find all my batteries. I haven't done any unpacking since Mingo. I just threw everything in here. Okay. So I got this. It looks like I might have this other video. I'm looking for where it downloaded it to. All right, bringing up your build cam. All right, so this is it here. Pretty simple, crack the code puzzle. Um, just like I we've talked about, this is a puzzle box, so it's a trackable. You could discover this is not a cache. Uh, I do have some that do have a door that can be a cache, uh, but this one's not. Um, this one, when you find it, you, you solve the puzzle, which I won't show on here. Uh, you turn it on to get the information. Uh, I actually need to put uh, instructions sign here. And so this just gives you the instructions. Which I don't know if I need to pull it closer to the mic or could you hear it okay? Let's see. Can you hear that? Yes. Anyways, Four, three, two, yeah, one. It didn't oh, do it, Chad. It didn't do it. It lied. Oh, well. <laughs> now someone else can find it. Uh, so anyways, it's kind of a fun way. That's 120 second. That's one of the, the basic modules that I have in there. Okay. Uh, up to, uh, let me show you the speaker. 
All right. Sorry, I didn't have it ready. I just have it hooked up to one of these speakers here. Okay. Uh, that's underneath this, uh, underneath this, the plexiglass. So, um, anyways, sounds better. Uh, something different. Anyways, kind of a fun way to uh, to make a cache. I mean, you can there. take a, a really great cache already, and then you add sound to it, and it just will blow somebody's mind even further. I mean, that's just really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, of course, it makes it when you have a cache that's talking to you. It's a little, and if you have it in an urban area, it might be a little bit harder to be stealthy. Yeah, um, but well, hey, it makes it more fun, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting a cache out that looks like this because no, no, that 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 might. I don't think it end up it end well. Well, depends on what you want to see. If you want to see it blown up, that might it, that, <laughs> and that's what your whole goal is. Then hey, you just won. So <laughs> Martin wasn't on uh, for that. Uh, I do have the smoke generator that I bought upstairs for it, but it's, like I said, it <laughs> doesn't hold the smoke. Right. It has issues. So, so and then I, I just gave up on it and I'm like, whatever. Right. And, and Tom's saying, I found two caches that screamed the whole time. You <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Caches? That'd be annoying, cashers? but fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea. Actually, it that's a really funny. good idea. That would be a blast. I mean, if you just think about that. You're sitting there doing the cash. It's like, hey, watch out for the muggles. Look, there's a muggle behind you. Watch out. Muggles coming down the road. Just constantly doing that. That would be hilarious. You know what? Try Cassius, that one that, and that fan that he has, when it when he goes down, the faster it gets going, it should like Driving scream louder or say something different or <laughs> something like that. I think that'd be hilarious to add something to that. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, something. <laughs> Start that'd telling be jokes. <laughs> Which I want to have one to build one of those or I the CD-ROM drawer tray. Because that's another thing. When when you have a cache that actually automatically has a drawer that comes out or a door that opens or something like that, that adds even more to the experience, right? It Just does. like the LED lights do, the sound does. Anything, any kind of mechanism that moves, I mean, that adds such a great experience to, to finding the cache that it's just like, wow. Right. And then you want to find it again and again. And, and you know, I'm sure we've all had caches where people will sit there and close it and then redo it and then close it and redo it. And then I have several of them where they come back and log that they had to come back with their friends to watch their friends do it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that, see, that, that's and that is what makes a great cache. Yeah. I mean, that would be hilarious. To just, I mean, yeah, I can just think of different ways. I mean, I want to make one of those too, where it lights up the LEDs, like what he's got. But adding sound to that, even like we were just talking about, that would be hilarious. Um, Ryan says, "Used a window screamer inside of inside an ammo can." What's a window screamer? Do you know? <laughs> I, I don't know. Ryan, explain, please. Uh, either we're just both all tired or what's what does that mean <laughs> yeah i don't know arnold on movie quotes are the best sound for modules yeah yeah make one i want to hear it yeah that'd come be great the come on to the uh the show next month uh, next month yeah and I'll, uh, let's pull up a calendar let me pull up a calendar and we'll find out what day that is oh wait i just remembered something i'll pull up our website because on our website there is a calendar on our, oh. our website now. So movie so. quotes would be fun is if you had one with multiple buttons like this, like the one I showed, and if they're all Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, you could <laughs> actually list down different movies and have quotes for different movies, and they'd have to guess what movie it was from you know, and push those buttons right. to get to open the cache. Um, that would be fun. Or an Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, uh, a quote uh, trivia game. Right, so be fun. all right, so let's see if I can share my screen again. I gotta really adjust where this. Oh, I know what he's talking about. It's like a fire extinguisher alarm. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. I so, used to have one here on our website. We actually have a calendar of events coming up, and the next gadget talk, the one that we it's everything's going to be due on, is actually going to be 
on the 29th. And it says TBD, but now this is going to actually change. And this is going to be when we do our sound module reveals, viewer sound module reveals. And so that's when that's going to be on next month. So that when you're asking, it's going to be June 29th when that is available. Um, and also, while I'm here on the website, you can actually see next month's shows. Of course, you got – this is actually going to change. We're actually not going to do be here on Tuesday. We're actually going to move it to Monday, uh, the 31st. Um, I'm have, I actually have a um, – I have to work that night for some reason. Um, we have a banquet that I have to be at. So instead of us doing it on Tuesday next week, we're actually going to be on Monday, the 31st. Um, yeah, that is Memorial day. Um, so, um, but we'll, I'm like, we'll catch you on that day uh, next week. So, um, that's what's, what's happening there. But so you can go check out the calendar. Each challenge talk will be on the third. So each of these has the different shows that are going to be on there. Um, so you can go check those out on the new website itself. And then of course we said earlier, you had to click on to become a patron. Well, this is the new button now become a patron right underneath it. So you can go check that out and don't forget, you can always go check out the store. Chromio print right there. That link on there on the store, go check it out. You got your shirts and we, once again, the coins, which I believe there's a challenge talk coin right there. We only ran a hundred of these coins and once they are gone, they are gone. So make sure that you go get your coins. Now um, the displays are already sold out. This is what it says, Chad. Oh, oh yes, I know. Okay. I have to, and, I, I, I custom make those. So I have to make them and I haven't had time. Right. And then also don't forget to come and check out the Simon ammo kits, $65 for the kit, regular kit. If you want to, don't want the ammo can it's $52 and we've just added if you want it pre-built so Chad builds it for you it'll be $90 so however ready to you go want out of it, the box ready to go out of the box you just program you put your lock on it and you tell it what the combination is and it's ready to go um I didn't have my coffee cup up here today but I had it I was drinking out of it this morning so but oh <laughs> never mind I got it right oh, here yeah? from this morning when I was up here working um, so you can get the coffee cups on there as well for gadget talks So go check that out. And this really cool tumbler. Yep. Chad's got them <laughs> there. So you can check that out, but this is all on our website and you can get the easiest way to really get to the website. Of course, is to go to geocachetalk.com and just click on the store button right up here. All right. So there's our little commercial. <laughs> uh, Okay, so next, yeah, next week is Monday. Sorry, I'm just catching up. I was out looking. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, be on the 31st. Stuff, so. so we're actually yeah be the 31st instead of the 1st, um, just because I'm having to do a work thing on Tuesday night. So we'll do that. And uh, we're working on a couple plans for it. Let's see what we're going to do. We're hoping we're going to be able to have somebody on with us. Um, we got to send them an email tonight. To, to verify, see if that's a, if he's available. Otherwise, we'll we'll come up with something, but we'll have a great show next week. Yes, uh, yeah, you can get a cup for any of the shows. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. I think Martin mentioned it there. Um, same with the tumblers. Uh, we just need to stick them up there. We haven't had a chance, and then soon we'll be getting one that has all the shows on it. So you're not having to just support one show. We'll have all the shows. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> Who put that mic there? It's a punching bag. It's, like, it's not a mic. Like it's a punching bag. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So you'll get one for all the shows, which will be cool. If we tie your hands, you're not going to be able to talk, Chad. That's right. Oh, I'm, I'm a huge hand talker. <laughs> so. so, um, thanks you. Um, hit. Yeah. And like he says, hit that, hit that like button and, uh, hit smash it. Let us see what happens. And my phone, oh. something's beeping. Is that you or me? That's you. Something's That's talking. Me. Someone wants you. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I just saw something on here and I was like, gonna say something. And now I don't remember. It was in and out. Oh, oh if you guys, uh, got one of the ammo cans, uh, please send uh, us, yes. uh, Send us some feedback on it, how the build went. Send us some pictures, and then send us the GC code. 
when you put it out because we'd love to follow the 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 adventures on that right the finds and all that stuff and read about people's experiences and which is one of the big reasons why you know we want to help people create caches because when you read about a great experience on a log it is it's awesome so we'd like to to read about about your caches so anyways um make sure you share those right and uh, if you have any issues with it which we had haven't yet except for one uh, one of the, the boards wasn't working and we got a replacement out, so they should begin anytime soon. So, right. But yeah, let us know. So yeah, let us know. Um, we are, and when I say we, it's Dave, uh, yeah. working on some other designs that are going to be hopefully coming out pretty soon. We'll have some examples of those between gadget talk and behind the cash. Cause we kind of tag team on a lot of different stuff. So we'll have some of those coming out hopefully here pretty soon. Uh, so there'll be some other gadget smart, cash styles that are going to be available in the store hopefully in the next few months so the, we're going to constantly be coming up with that and who knows so we're just going to be we're talking about always adding some new things to it um, so you always be checking out the store because we're trying to update that quite frequently and everything on that store and the and the and the geocache talk part of it or the geocache part of it does help the network so we really do appreciate it Yes, absolutely. Sorry, I'm reading some of the back feed and stuff. So, uh, right. uh, the, 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 whatever. Anyways, uh, chat room. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're just finding our way says if you get the pre built uh, version of the cash, all favorite points go to chat. Yeah. <laughs> just finding our way from Arizona. I got your tag. At, yes, I did uh, too. Uh, at Mingo. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That yes, is awesome. I did too. Thank you very much. I'm looking for it right now. Mine's right behind me in a drawer, so I would go get it. But mine's on my desk somewhere. And <laughs> if, if you'd see it, you it's scary. I have coins all over the place right now. Yes. I've, I've great coins for Mingo. Oh, such great coins. Good job, Ryan, and everybody that put those together. Yep. Um, was really, really cool. And of course, I had to buy some more. But other than that, it was great. So ah, uh, so. Simon, uh, cash kit build was fun and easy. Highly recommend. Thank you. That is awesome. And we probably ought to put some of these uh, reviews on our uh, on the website too. On those, where so. is GCDSK11 from? Where are you from? So um, that way we can kind of we'll know who who built what. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've been following where they've been shipping to, and some's gone to Canada, some's gone to. Uh, England? Australia, some's gone to England. Uh, there was another country that uh, way out there that I didn't even know we had listeners from, and I don't remember <laughs> the name of it. Uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff, but yeah, that's great. Really exciting to see how many people are listening to it from all over the world. I, I it's kind of an honor to have people listening to us. It really is, and we could not do this without you. Um, from the viewers, those that have been in the chat room all night tonight and lighting it up, I, I mean. It's been like Portugal, a squirrel. Portugal. Martin said. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Martin. Uh, it's been watching what's going on in there, trying to watch what's going on here. Uh, so, yeah, we kind of seem spaced out here and there, uh, partially because we are. But at the same time, <laughs> we're trying to follow what's going on in the chat room. And we really do appreciate it. And we really do love our viewers and listeners. And this has just been – we love doing this. And thank you for listening and watching. Uh, and love seeing all the different people. Now, as we are doing these builds, somebody's getting into these caches and they're maybe new to the game. Hey, share the network with them because we go through everything from gadgets to challenges to puzzles and then just everything geocaching. So just go check it out. Check out the network, Geocaching with Kids. Of course, is the audio version of it. And so there's just so much that we put out on this network that is for everybody. So this is a great resource for all of those that are trying to get into geocaching or starting into geocaching. And it's just a great way of, of sharing our fun with everybody. Yep. So it's, it's my Siri. If she keeps be quiet, <laughs> <laughs> it's telling you it's, it's, it's time. Yeah. It's, it's telling, trying to tell me it's time to get off here. All right. So everybody <laughs> next week is a uh, podcast is going to be on Monday. Monday night. That's right. Monday night. So join us then. Um, and uh, we will be announcing what it will be, but it will be fun uh, if everything goes to plan. 
Well, it'll be fun either way. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Um, But until then, there is a show. Is it this Thursday? Trying to remember. I got to go back. Um, Uh, We're in May. It's... uh, you, want no. to, you know, our, our website has a really cool calendar system. I know. That's what I'm looking at. I have to go back <laughs> to where I was on the next month. So, yeah. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's another episode. There, of course, Sunday. This Sunday, there is. Of course, you got Raise Your uh, Geocache Talk. So, join us on Sunday for Geocache Talk. But until then, have a great week. And we will see you next Monday. Remember, Monday, not Tuesday. Uh, next week on the 31st, Memorial Day. So, yes. we will see you all later. Good night. Bye, everybody.